bourbon that also has a finish, a cask finish. This one specifically, Legion, has a sherry and red wine cask finish. Aged for just a little over four years. Um, this is the product of marrying two companies. We have Jim Beam and Centauri. So now it is Beam Centauri. Um, this is a um, creation uh, between the seventh generation master distiller over at Jim Beam. Blender and refiner from Centauri. So we have a marriage of East and West in this doorway here. Not a particularly complex uh, scent. You get um, past that alcohol scent, you get a bit of oakiness and a slight sweetness that you get. taste to it. It's a very simple, uh, young taste, but not too grainy. Um, this one particularly is used with a, a Jim Beam standard mash, so it's got about 13% rye in there, so it's got a bit of a spice, uh, a bit of a black pepper uh, finish on that. It is sweet, so we get almost a, a taste of baked fruits and caramel. Um, they do use a, a new American oak barrel, so you're going to get a bit of vanilla taste in there. But again, not super complex, but this makes it a very good uh, bourbon for people that are trying to get into bourbons or people that are just now starting to taste bourbons and get into it, uh, uh, into the tasting realm of bourbon and just any spirits in general. This is a fantastic one to start off with. It is at about a $40 uh, MSRP uh, here in Georgia, at least. Uh, it could vary uh, specific states. But a very well tasting bourbon. I would recommend this with either a Manhattan or a New York Sour, which is one of my personal favorite cocktails. Cheers. Hey. Thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in to Poor Rye. It's my very first video on the channel, so I'm very excited to start using this uh, as a creative outlet for myself uh, to share uh, fun and creative cocktails uh, and, and, and bourbons and spirits and wines that you may not particularly know of. Um, I'm willing to try and, uh, and, and discuss my journey through that um, as a very much a beginner at um, tasting and now a few years into bartending. Um, so I'm gonna use this again as a creative outlet and um, I hope to kind of share that experience with all of you along the way. Thank you.